At the organizational meeting where the new school board chose the president, there was a discussion led by Sheila Taylor about why they should pick Reverend Harris as the new president of the school board. At that meeting, Taylor said the only reason that they should pick him was that he was African American and they were about to engage in school closings. I would like to see an African American have that position. So that kind of limits to who that becomes then at that point. The other members of the school board in attendance, including Karen Wick Gagne, Mohammed Al Hamdani, Jocelyn Reiner, John McManus, Reverend Walker, all sat there and didn't say a thing. We put out a video pointing this out, calling it racist on the school board. They voted to make William Harris the school board president, despite his lack of experience, lack of knowledge, and he's shown his lack of ability to run a meeting over and over. President Harris? Yes. I'm sorry, no. Let me change my vote to no, I apologize. When a citizen goes up to speak, that's a chance for the school board members to respond after they speak directly to their face. For the record, I usually stick to three minutes when I come up here out of respect. But it seems that Reverend Harris only cuts some people off at this podium. Is that discrimination? Or just another example of why you shouldn't have elected him president based on his skin color? Instead, Mr. Alhamdani decides to wait until after the meeting and add it in his comments, calling me a racist when all I was doing was quoting Sheila Taylor, saying that it's sad that it's come to this. So I want to apologize to you on behalf of this community. You know, to insinuate that your only qualification is your color um, was interesting to hear. Um, you know, there's people, as a community, were better than that, sir. So I'm sorry that we had to hear that today. But that's the world we live in today. That's the... Taylor first. She said it. Thank you, Taylor said th it. thank you to the member that's interrupting me for proving my point. Yes, it is sad that it's come to this. After the meeting, I tried to address Mr. Alhamdani, saying you've got a lot of balls to sit up there and protect it and expect to be able to speak without response with the school board microphones only picking you up. I say something there at the podium, you are welcome to respond while I'm there, and then I get so, to respond. You so, don't get to sit there and sit there at the podium and say, so, no, so, so. I got to make a comment, and then, hi. That's not how it works. What? I'm allowed to go talk to him. I'm allowed to go talk to him. I understand it. The problem is this school board cares nothing about citizen input, doesn't care to hear what you have to say, holds meetings on Mondays, and does everything possible to make sure that they don't represent you, they represent their own best interests. It's time to remove this entire school board. There is a reason the school board and this district is headed to the worst school district in the state, and it's not me.